Hi everyone, it's Jonathan from Kickstart Commerce and um, I'm just looking at um, adding some style sheet comments to a website. So uh, just as a quick example, um, if I go to this website, which is just a, a sort of trial site at the moment, and if I go to this product, Now, you'll see here that we have some width and depth options, and we've actually done some custom coding so that when you type in a, a number here, so let's say 700, then it automatically selects the next option up. And so if I type in 1100, this, next, this one will get selected. So that's great. Um, but what we want to do is actually hide these two options so it does it invisibly now if I go and look at the code then I can see in here that we have basically a section that is called rectangle width and I think that if I sort of put a display let's have a look display non command in there that should hide it um, and that's that's what I'm looking to do. So, so basically, I'm this, I've got these two commands that I want to put in. Um, but I'm now in back office. Now, if you go to storefront my themes, I think the only thing you can do really on this theme is to edit the theme files. So that's possibly one thing we can do. Let's have a look and see if it works. So let's just quickly go back to the front end. Let's find out if it's a class or not. So it's basically, right, it's this one. So yes, it's a class. And if you Google that, um, if we just say class um, CSS, we'll probably find that um, class is preceded by a full stop. Yeah. So you can see it in, in here. So that means that we need something. Let me just open a text pad up. So if my class is called rectangle width, you need something like this. Something like that should um, should actually get what we need um, to say display non for that particular field. And I've got another one uh, which is rectangle. Um, I think it's depth. So we'll probably do the same thing. Now I'm no uh, CSS expert, but you can probably do something along the lines of. So something along the lines of just that one line, but I I don't know, and it doesn't really matter to me for this particular um, purpose. Right, so so let's go and have a look in here. So we've basically we've got into the theme file. So we've this is the name of the theme. I've basically done an edit theme files and ended up within here, and then I imagine. Somewhere in here, we've got the CSS files. So it's possibly this SCSS layouts checkout invoice theme. Now let's have a look in theme. So the theme's just got quite a lot of import requests. But I would imagine we can possibly put our two commands in here. So let's let's have a go. So if we just say in this instance that dot rectangle width is display none and then close 
that one. And let's also spell it right. Also say dot rectangle depth is exactly the same. Now that possibly should work. Um, so let's save and apply. It always does this strange um, sort of thing. But anyway, uh, it looks like it's saved that now. So we've got our rectangle width, rectangle depth, display none. As I say, I think you could possibly combine those two. Right, but let's see whether this has made any effect on our products whatsoever. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is go back to the home page of the back office and then just do view store. That should take us into the website. Okay, so we're in. Let's go to the product that had those options. And that has actually worked, which is great. So now, um, we had these options that are hidden here now, um, which allowed the price to be calculated. Now, if I type in something like 700 here and 900 here, it should come up with a price and it has 43 pounds 20, exact size. And then I think this adds, if you add a motor, etc., that will add to the price. But that all looks like it's actually working correctly. So that's good. Um, so I, on that basis, I will put this in the tutorial section and um, hopefully that helps anyone else. All right, I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye for now.